I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's a quick overview of the Q960 sequencer. The Q960 sequencer is modeled after the Moog 960 which was built back in the 60s and 70s. The front panel is laid out the same and it operates the same. It uses modern components so it can be maintained for decades. There are eight stages and each stage has three knobs. These knobs set voltages that get sent to the output. A range switch determines the range of the knobs from 2 volts, 4 volts, and 8 volts. These voltages are usually used to drive oscillators to create melodies, but they can drive any voltage controllable parameter on any module in the system. The light indicates when a stage is on. You can set a stage on manually using the set button or with a gate input. And whenever a stage is on, you get a gate output. These gates can be patched back and forth to each other to create unusual sequences, or they can be used to drive other modules in the system. The mode switch determines what happens when a stage is active. You can skip it, play as normal, stop the sequence, and there's a fourth unmarked position that resets the sequence back to stage one. This is unmarked because it wasn't part of the original design. There's a special ninth stage that can be used to stop the sequence, or you can skip it and create a continuous sequence. You can advance the sequencer to the next stage manually using the shift button, or with a gate from an external oscillator. The Q960 has its own internal oscillator to shift stages. Its speed is set by a combination of the range switch and the fine control, and it has a one volt per octave input just like a Q106 audio oscillator. You can turn the oscillator on manually using the button and turn it off or with gate inputs. When the light's on, the oscillator is on. You also get a square wave output which can be used to drive envelope generators or to synchronize with other sequencers. The third row timing switch connects the output of the third row back to the oscillator so that the third row of knobs sets the length of each step. Here's a quick example. We'll drive our oscillators with the first row output, and we'll drive our envelope generators with the 960's internal oscillator. We'll start the sequence at stage one. Now we can skip stages. Set to create shorter sequences. Now we'll use the third row timing control to set the length of stages. patch gate outputs back into gate inputs to create different sequences.